on today's menu. What in the world? Hachi no ko. Should we feed each other? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. Why would you eat that? Though often referred to in the Western world as baby bees, Hachinoko is actually made from the pupae and larvae of wasps, specifically wasps of the Vespula genus, which are kind of like bees, but not really. Hachinoko is served in Japan, a nation that has a long history of insect consumption. While cultures all across the globe practice intimophagy, what? that's a fancy word for bug eating. Oh. Japan's entomophagy likely began in the Japanese Alps, where an abundance of aquatic bugs made it a smart protein choice. And since ancient times, it's been a way, primarily for rural folks, to survive tough economic times. <laughs> Though eating insects is less popular in cities, Hachinoko is just one of the buggy dishes that pops up frequently on urban menus. Here's some crazy shit about how it's made that we found in a book. A real life book! Oh, uh, a book is like the internet, but, you know, print it out. See, these wasps like frog meat, so locals take a small piece of silk and tie it to a piece of frog meat, like a meat kite. The rest of the frog bits are placed nearby where hungry wasps who just got off work might find it. When the wasps come to take a piece of meat, locals swap it out for the meat kites. Then when the wasp takes its leftovers home, the locals follow the piece of silk back to the nest in the ground. Hey, honey. Now it's time for fireworks. To celebrate? No, to stun the wasps. Then using shovels, they dig out the nest. The cell caps are then cut, and the larvae and pupae are picked out. So why does the rest of the internet say that Hachinoko isn't wasp larva, but baby bees? Well, at one point, a company started selling Apis mellifera larvae, which you might know as honeybees, because the majority of male bees are useless to the beekeeper. These bee larvae were allegedly not as tasty and are supposedly no longer for sale. Score one for wasps. Just one because wasps are dicks. Hey, what are you looking at, you pervert? About 40,000 kilograms of Hachinoko, or 88,000 pounds for those of you not using the metric system, are collected in Japan for processing each year. Though there's been an increasing reliance on imported pupae from Korea as demand for Hachinoko rises. Traditionally, Hachinoko are cooked with rice, sugar, and soy sauce, but they are also often battered and deep fried, which is probably way better at disguising the consistency, which is described as wet and maggoty with a bit of crunch. Now there's a food that needs some PR spin. Well, here's some. Japanese Emperor Hirohito's favorite food was fried wasps over rice with a dash of sugar and soy sauce. The fried variety go great with beer and it's often served in pubs. And you thought your fried pickles were pushing the envelope. Hmm, yes. But why would you eat that? Hey, it was good enough for an emperor. But as we've learned in previous episodes featuring creepy crawlies, eating insects is actually good for the environment. <laughs> It's more sustainable and inexpensive to raise them than more traditional livestock. And according to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, they have the same amount of protein and minerals as meat, and even more of the healthy fats recommended by doctors. And if we're talking specifically about why you would eat Hachinoko, and that's kind of the point of the whole show, and we are. <laughs> At over 80%, wasps have the highest percentage of edible protein of all insects. They're also rich in iron, copper, manganese, and vitamin B2. But we're not focused on nutrition. Our business is feeding the office. I'm gonna go hang myself now. See you guys, I'm gonna go let wasps sting me to death. Shut up. Hey guys, this is our wall of donors. Uh, it's all people who have helped make Why Would You Eat That possible. Check out Patreon if you'd like to donate. There's a lot of fun rewards there. There's some where we print out pictures and they just hang over us uh, all day, sort of being like, where's the next episode at, guy? Where is it? Where is it? If you can't donate, if it's not possible, share the show. That's almost as good as donating and in some ways better. Hey, enough of that junk. Let's feed the office. Oh, you can totally see the wasp right there. Here, watch out. Hey, Cruz, you want to eat something? I was heading out, but I guess I could put some weird in my mouth. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I was hoping it would be something not shriveled up and, and having eyeballs. It kind of looks like rice. Mm-hmm. 
Like some wild rice. It could rice. be rice. It could be wild rice. The wildest. It's so slimy looking. Mm. Kind of looks like marinated toenail clippings. <laughs> oh, thanks. It looks like a little turd. Yeah, can you put some on my fork? A little bit more, yeah. Should we feed each other? No. No? No. OK. Hmm. Is this a dessert? That's not bad. I mean, it's a little grainy. It's got a little bit of like that aftertaste. That's real smoky. Yeah, it is. Super yeah. smoky. I mean, it tastes like soy sauce. You really, mm -hmm. I mean, that's fine. The taste is fine. It tastes like Captain Crunch. I can totally taste the soy sauce. I don't know what Cruz was thinking. I think he's high. Yeah. There's like a barbecue flavor in there. There's kind of a nut. Nutty flavor. Oh, it got weird at the end. But that, that like grainy smoky aftertaste is pretty intense. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It's changing, it's evolving in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Growing, mm -hmm. maturing. Oh, don't say words like that. <laughs> the weird little like pockets of air mm -hmm. when you're like chewing down and it's just. We're crunching up babies. Is it bugs? Almost. Clearly some sort of pupae. I was gonna say larva, but maybe that's not right. Oh, they're also larval. Would you like it better if I told you that it was baby wasps? Yes, <laughs> wasps. Yeah, it's cooked in a sauce. Oh, okay, yeah. that's not like larval juices. No. You could have just let me know, it, like think that it was like rice or something. Oh, it's not rice. Oh, no. Yeah, you never want to pupate when you're about to put it in your mouth. Do wasps just taste smoky? I guess so. Probably all those cigarettes. Because, I mean, does this have protein? Oh, yeah. Like, you wouldn't believe. Really? Mm-hmm. <gasps> That's a big one. <gasps> no, that one makes it look like what it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> On my wasp scale, mm -hmm. I'd give this a solid nine out of 10. Blech. Wasps are a-okay. Actually, they're dicks, which is why you should eat them. So it's like a Captain Crunch coat with a, gu a dirt gusher filling. Gusher filling, gusher filling. Gusher filling. Don't make that gesture on this show. Oh. That's our episode on Hachi Noko. I hope you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed the food. It was, it was pretty delicious. It was almost like a sweet scotch that you'd crunch down on and realize that it was a bug. It was super hard to find. It's one of those that I've been looking for like two seasons now and so glad I did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in two weeks.